As shown in previous clips, chords are first defined by two primary notes, a fifth apart. Triads add the median, one of the secondary notes, inside the frame, determining the chord's mode, major or minor. Similarly, the motrix, the other secondary note, is placed outside the frame to determine the direction of the chord, flattening down or sharpening up the diatonic string of fifth. The dominant seventh is the best known tetrad chord and typically resolves to the tonic rest triad without a motrix. Tensions between the median and the motrix force the first chord to resolve to the second rest chord. The pivot to the resolution is a common tone, the primary note that's common to both chords. Pushing the motrix of the first chord to the median of the second chord and forcing the median to resolve in the opposite direction to the proper tone of the second chord. Secondary notes have forced resolutions, but primary notes can resolve more freely to the primary notes of the second chord. As well, the acoustic simplicity of octaves supports all 24 permutations of a chord. It is interesting to note that while chordal tones resolve simultaneously on a chord change, sounding somewhat awkward when resolved before the chord change, other non-chordal tones can easily resolve on the first chord before the chord change, as with the ninth, for example. Ensuring that it takes four different notes, no more no less, to make a complete chord.